All right, y'all, welcome back to Commodore Arms Channel. All right, so today we're checking out something that I think is going to be pretty cool. And for all of y'all over in Finland and Sweden, I think you guys will appreciate this. A lot of y'all said this to me, and yeah, I see amphibious operations and I see sort of coastal troops in the description, and that sounds pretty cool already. So this is the Bolt, Bolt Ops. Not gonna lie, it's a pretty horrible name. But Bolt Ops 22. So this is going to be Finnish and Swedish troops conducting an amphibious assault, which sounds legit. The whole concept of, of littoral warfare and sort of fighting on the shores and the beaches and doing that amphibious stuff has always been really interesting, especially from a US Marine perspective, obviously that makes sense. But I think y'all over in the Nordic countries really do it well. I know you definitely have the terrain with the you know archipelagos and, and whatnot. You definitely have the terrain to train on that. So, I mean, that kind of helps. And I think it's definitely warranted that you guys want to focus on that. But it's always really interesting to see you guys operating, doing that kind of stuff. So I'm excited. Let's check it out. Okay, nice that the gun ASMR. <laughs> That's like a Stargate graphic right there. Okay, these are the Jehu class boats. I always confuse them with the CB90, but I'm learning. That's a CB90. That is not. Ooh, okay. I gotta say, I, I can't really tell the difference between Swedish and Finnish, like, naval camouflage, to be honest. I don't know. I mean, it looks like the Finns are using, like, a M90 kind of pattern as well. Yeah, so I'm, I can't really tell the difference, but... So, this, I think, is a Finnish... Uh, no, okay, maybe not. Okay, so this is like the Swedish version of the LCAC, which is like our hovercraft that we use to bring all the, the Humvees and other vehicles onto the shore. This thing, I gotta say, it looks pretty freaking pristine. I don't know if it just like the maintenance is on point or if this is like new, but this thing is looking really slick. And who doesn't love a giant hovercraft anyway? I'm liking the Heika helmets and stuff. Game face. <laughs> okay, I gotta say, I love the M90 camouflage, but sometimes it just really stands out as being very fluorescent. I mean, the pack looks, eh. I mean, the pack is also kind of too dark. Yeah, I don't know. There's just a lot going on. I mean, I guess it kind of works. That M05 though, that M05 looks perfect for that. Nice, CB90 next to the Jehu, Jehu class. I love hearing the cameraman's heavy breathing. Nice. Oh, damn. So I, I'm wondering now, so if they're talking a bunker, that's pretty tricky stuff from like, it's like straight up D-Day vibes, but attacking a bunker from an amphibious landing is kind of scary. I'm wondering what kind of armaments these have. I know they have the machine guns up front, but having like maybe a Mark 19, like a grenade launcher machine gun, that'd be pretty sweet. Or even if they have like a smoke screen, I know in some situations that might be more detrimental than, you know, not, especially when you're talking about being able to see where you're about to step, especially when you're talking about these sorts of amphibious landings. But yeah, I'm sure it is. It, it's nice to have that option. I just... Not sure if these actually have something like that. Okay. Dispersion could be a little better. Nice. That was clean. That looks like a lot of fun, man. Okay, nice optic on that. Dude, the Haika helmets next to those other helmets. Is this chin strap unbuckled? Hmm. Nice. Yeah, the fins are looking high speed, man. Oh, yeah. They definitely have, like, some nice stuff. Look at this dude just 
posing in the background. Yeah, so I think these are the Coastal Jaegers, which makes sense why they're probably going to have some of the more nicer stuff. Being an amphibious unit, for one, but also the fact that these are conscripts and professional troops, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, these guys, I think you, you need to score higher on the, the PT test, the physical fitness test to get into the Jaegers as well. From what I remember, let me know if I'm saying anything wrong, of course. I'm trying to remember the stuff that I'm seeing in the videos, but sometimes I'm just too like focused on the gear itself. But they're looking high speed. And that camo works. Yeah, he's got the bray on, hell yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That is not cool, having to carry that thing around. Ooh, but it looks... Okay, now these guys look legit. <laughs> oh, nice angle. Dude, I wish I got an angle of me doing like training like that. That's sick. Oh, okay. That was, uh, not gonna lie, that was a little nerve-wracking to watch. I mean, at least these guys are smart enough not to shoot past it like we saw in that Russian video where they're just like behind each other, shooting over each other's shoulders. So, yeah. it's just violence of action. I like it. That gun looks so cool, man. Man. What do you guys call that? The mag? 240? That thing is a beast. Okay, dude. <laughs> Chill. Rambo over here. Some nice clips in this one, I gotta say. Mm. And that combat camera symbol is always cool to see. Okay, not bad. I mean, combat camera, we've seen some pretty cool stuff, but this one, I gotta say, they're definitely highlighting like the fins looking badass, not gonna lie. Some pretty solid angles, but these Swedes, they're looking pretty freaking cool as well, especially these guys. I don't know who these guys are, but they're just like not rocking any helmets or anything. They're not even rocking like <laughs> armor. I don't know. I mean, it looks it looks cool, but it looks like something you'd see in like the Falklands War or something in a weird way. Okay, very, very cool. A very solid recommendation. Now this one did show up on my recommended, which is surprising. I don't know why, I, I always like, I, I definitely react to a lot of military videos, but when I'm not reacting, I'm always watching a bunch of other, like usually unrelated stuff. So I'm thinking that's why it's not showing up as much. So I do appreciate you guys actually sending the videos to me because yeah, sometimes I will miss some things. And this was a good one. I mean, the title is a little bit, you know, ball tops 22. And then it says like Ar Archipelagian fronts. You guys could probably say that better than me, and English is actually my first language. So, <laughs> yeah, the, the title is a little bit complicated. It kind of threw me off, kind of deterred me from checking out the video, but I'm very glad I checked it out because this was freaking sick. If you guys took part in this or if you guys actually see yourself in this, let me know because that happens more often than not. It's, it's actually kind of cool to see that, you know, you guys are seeing yourselves in the video because, I mean, this looks like a lot of fun. This looks like badass. The people we're seeing in here, are badass so let me know if you guys took part it looks like a very very fun time and the weather looks like fantastic as well i mean i don't know where this actually took place like which territory but it looks pretty freaking beautiful i mean the terrain yeah it's like kind of rocky but the the camouflage when they're actually moving to the woods that looks very very aesthetic so that's why I'm loving this video with the drone shots and all the different angles. We can see they're trying to get some good coverage and that's exactly what they got. So combat camera, solid job there. The production quality as well was was cool. That's That graphic in the beginning, yeah, I had some Stargate vibes, so it kind of threw me off. But yeah, it is a very, very good video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Of course, send me all of those recommendations. I love checking out these training exercises. I mean, there's a lot of cool ones that y'all do over in the Nordic countries, especially like, you know, even some of the NATO exercises there. But there's a lot of stuff that I was never privy to until I started seeing these videos and you guys recommended these videos because there's a lot of dope exercises out there 
and it looks like a lot of fun and I'm getting kind of jealous that I'm not doing this stuff anymore. But yeah, if you guys are there, let me know. Let me know your personal experiences down in the comment section so we can kind of live vicariously through that because yeah, it just looks like a cool time. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you again for supporting the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. I will see y'all in the next one.